There are somewhat extreme conditions to deal with filming in Scotland. Particularly at this time of year. Uh, we picked the middle of January to do this trip. And surprise, surprise, we've had to put up with blizzards and 70 mile an hour winds and hail and rain and everything in between. Um, but, you know, that's kind of what it's all about. Scotland just has like a massive wealth of features. You're never short of a focal point for an image in Scotland with lochs, with amazing mountain ranges in the background. It's an extreme landscape that sort of really lends itself to, but well, it's just really, it's beautiful. Well, it's funny that like Scotland, you get all this amazing landscape, but it wasn't all glacial. There was points at which it was also tectonic, so things happened under the ground. Way back when, 500 million years ago or so, the Earth was two major land masses, and when they came together, along with others, well, we got a Caledonian orogeny. Big mountain building event. That means that a lot of the mountains around here and volcanoes as well were formed and up into Scandinavia, right up through into North America as well, all tectonic activity. I find it really hard to imagine if we're thinking that we're in a warm period that's interglacial now, I find it impossible to imagine what it must have looked like when it was glaciated. It happened about 18,000 years ago, that was when the main peak of the last glacial period was and most of these mountains here would have been completely buried under snow and ice sheets in some parts so it was even three miles thick and you just have the highest mountain peaks rising above the ice sheets. Why would you want to come here in January? Uh, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's I mean, like Fort William, uh, just down the road from here, is the UK's capital of adventure. And you can really see why when you spend a bit of time up here. Like, it's literally on the, the foot of Ben Nevis and next to Loch Lanay, like the biggest sea loch in Scotland. Less than two hours and you're in the Cairngorms, which is another amazing mountain range. You know, it's got, it's got everything, everything you could want as an adventurer. Ice as a force is far more powerful than water and it's been one of the major forces operating in the Scottish landscape. We can see in the Scottish valleys how smooth and how wide their floors are and that's because glaciers have just bulldozed down the valley and they've created a really nice smooth floor. We can also see that the weight of the ice pressing down has scoured and deepened some of the valleys to create locks as well. And you get this rift, the Great Glen Rift, that runs from Loch Linney, just over there, uh, right through up into Loch Ness. Uh, and it's a big tectonic fault that filled, and then we've got these, uh, these great lakes too. In the future, we don't really know what's going to happen for, for Scotland in terms of tectonic activity. Uh, a lot of this weathering still going on, a lot of glaciation may come back, we're only in the glacial at the moment. The whole earth is moving, the, the tectonic plates are moving apart and coming together and it just means that the, the earth will continually be renewed and as this wears away we'll get new mountain building events, new orogenies coming through and we'll get, well, the Scottish Highlands all over again somewhere else. <laughs>